So, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Ito pa rin po ang inyong kaibigan at kakampi na si Sir Leo Angeles na nasasabing ang buhay ay masaya kung kaya dapat laging handa sa sakuna. Ngayon guys ay aking personal na ibabahagi ang aking karanasan nung ako ay naging department head. Ito po ay batay sa Deped Order Number no. 39 Series 2007. So ngayon ay aking isa-isahin ang mga QS and requirements ng head teacher position. Number one, by the way, both elementary and secondary ay merong head teacher position. Ang kanilang pagkakaiba lamang sa elementary ay hanggang head teacher 1 2 3 samantalang sa secondary ay hanggang head teacher 1 to 6 okay pero parehong pareho ang kanilang qualification standard so US ng head teacher 1 to 6 in terms of education number one, kailangan ikaw ay bachelor's degree in elementary or secondary or at least 18 units in education. What about training? Ang kailangan mo ay meron kang 24 hours relevant training for experience. Head teacher 1. Kailangan naging 1 year teacher in charge or teacher for 3 years. Head teacher 2. Number 1. At least ikaw ay naging head teacher one for one year, one year as T uh, T I C, and four years as teacher. What about head teacher three? Number one, dapat head teacher two for two years, T I C for two years, at five years as teacher. What about head Teacher four, so dapat naging head teacher three for three years at MT for two years. What about head teacher five? So dapat naging head teacher four ng four years at naging MT for three years. What about head teacher six? So kailangan ikaw ay naging head teacher 5 for 5 years at naging 4 years as MT. So guys, kung ito ay inyong namit, pwedeng pwede na kayong mag-apply ng head teacher position. Hi guys, ngayon naman ay aking ipapaliwanag sa inyo at iisa-isahin ang pointing system na ginagamit batay sa Deped Order Number Forty Two Series Two Thousand Seven. This one is performance rating that is equivalent to thirty points. Number two, your experience that is equivalent to ten points. Number three, your outstanding accomplishments that is equivalent to thirty points. Number four, that is your uh, education. That is equivalent to ten points. Number five is your training or your seminar that is equivalent to ten points. And number seven, your psychosocial that is equivalent to five points. And your psychosocial attributes and your personality traits that is equivalent to five points. All in all, ito ay binubuo ng one hundred. Points. So ngayon ay ating iisa-isahin kung papaano kayo makakakuha ng puntos sa bawat kategorya na ating tinalakay. So let's start with so let's start with performance rating. Sa loob ng tatlong taon, kukuha ni ng average ng inyong per per performance at kung ano ang naging average ng performance mo ay 9.4 to 10. So definitely, ikaw ay makakakuha ng perfect 30 points. 8.7 to 9.3, 25 points. 8.0 to 8.6, that is 
points. What about experience? So in every one year relevant experience sa duties and responsibilities that you are applying for, ikaw ay mabibigyan ng one point. Example, kung ikaw ay chairman ng inyong department sa loob ng limang taon, automatic, ikaw ay mabibigyan ng five points. What about kung ikaw ay master teacher? Usually, ang ginagawa nila sa pagbibigay ng puntos kung ikaw ay master teacher, ang iyong present position, in every three years as master teacher, ikaw ay bibigyan ng one point. By the way, ito ay depende sa appreciation ng umuupo bilang miyembro ng PSB. What about under outstanding accomplishment? So, ang number one under this ay Outstanding Employee Award. Kung ikaw ay school awardee, one point. District awardee, two points. Division awardee, three points. Region awardee, four points. National awardee, five points. Letter B, innovation. Started the conceptualization. You will be given one point started the implementation in the school, two points, fully implemented in the school, three points, adapted in district, four points, adapted in division, five points. Action research, fully implemented in school, six points, fully implemented in district, eight points, fully Implemented in Division, 10 points. D. Publication and Authorship. Sole Authorship, 5 points. Co-Authorship, 4 points. Article, 2 points. Letter, letter E. Ikaw ay naging resource speaker or naging consultant. Kung sa district, 1 point. Division, 2 points points, region, three points, national, four points, and international, five points. Under education, complete academic requirements in MA, six points, MA graduate, seven points, complete academic and doctoral degree, nine points, and finish your doctoral degree, ten what about letter E under training? So under this, kailangan meron kong tatlong seminars attended in district level para ikaw ay makakuha ng two points. Three seminars under division, four points. Tatlong seminars under region, bibigyan ka ng six points. One seminar per national level para mabigyan ka ng 8 points, samantalang 1 seminar attended in international level para mabigyan ka ng 10 points. Kung ikaw ay walang training or seminars, may other options na pwede mong gamitin. For example, ikaw ay naging technical working group sa isang seminar. So, ang pointing system dito ay depende pa rin sa level. Kung wala ka sa una at pangalawa at ikaw ay naging scholar, ikaw ay nabigyan ng isang scholarship grant, ikaw ay umaten ng isang specialized course, uh, ikaw ay maaaring mabigyan ng puntos sa bahagi ng training. At ang huli ay ang potential and psychosocial attributes and personality traits, ito ay sa pamagitan ng interview portion. So dito ay mabibigyan ka ng 10 points. Kung sa tingin mo ay ready ka nang mag-stay ng 8 hours sa school at mag-handle ng mga teachers at at the same time mag-stay sa school ng vacation, so ito na ang inyong hinihintay Dahil naniniwala ako 
na ang lahat ng bagay na pinaghahandaan, ito ay nagiging matagumpay. Good luck!